Fox News has obtained a letter from House Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunez to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Wray. That memo says the FBI is refusing to provide a committee with an unredacted copy of the memo that kick-started the Russia investigation. Nunez wants to see that originating memo, and he is threatening to enforce subpoenas issued last August if it is not handed over by April 11th. I believe that's next Wednesday. Uh, so now the Oversight Committee Chairman Trey Gowdy says this. We shouldn't have to go to court uh, to ask the Department of Justice to give information to us about the launching of a, of a really important investigation. I mean, that, that is not a tough question. It's not an unfair question. Mike Emanuel live from Washington. So we've seen a lot of memos, but this would be the original one. Well, Harris, no question about that. The letter obtained by Fox News shows Congress is still having trouble getting records despite promises of cooperation from the FBI director and deputy attorney general. The Republican chair of the House Intelligence Committee, Devin Nunes, requested and was denied the July 2016 FBI memo that kick-started the Russia case. Nunes wants a clean copy of that memo without sections blacked out, what are known as redactions. Fox News is told the memo was likely drafted by FBI agent Peter Strzok, who was removed from the Russia special counsel investigation after anti-Trump text messages were discovered. A leading national security defense attorney told Fox News, my colleague Catherine Harrods, the bureau could share the memo in a secure facility, what is known as a skiff, if they have concerns about sensitive or classified information, because like all government agencies, even the FBI should be subject to oversight. I think you're, when you see the inspector general's report, you're going to see why they're hiding these kinds of things and, and the, the different things that happen there that they're, they're not very proud of. But FBI has done some terrible things in the past and not comparing any Hoover things to what's happening now. But they need to be held accountable just like everybody else. Lawmakers return from their Easter recess next week. The Republican chair, Devin Nunes, has set a deadline next week for a clean copy of that FBI memo or else the chairman may enforce existing subpoenas. Harris. Mike Emanuel, thank you very much. Let's bring in Chris Farrell of Judicial Watch. He's the director of investigations and research. Uh, always great to see you. Let's just start with the obvious. Nunez could go ahead and issue those subpoenas. Is he serious? Well, he should have done it months ago, frankly. Uh, the delay is a little bit tough to understand. And look, if they want to play games and they don't want to release the information, Mr. Nunez, who I'm sure has a wealth of knowledge and really knows a lot more than he's saying, mm -hmm. or, even, or even what was in, contained in his three-and-a-half-page memo, he can walk onto the floor of the House and under the speech or debate, debate clause just start reading things himself. So mm. either, they, either they play ball and release information that he constitutionally has the right to see because of the Congress's oversight responsibility, or he can go on the floor of the House and just start holding forth about what he knows. You know, this is nothing new, sadly. A couple of years back, Senator Grassley of the Senate Judiciary Committee had to hold hearings called All Means All. And the title of that huh. hearing had to do with the Inspector General of the Justice Department being told drop dead by the FBI because the IG wasn't allowed to see FBI records. Wow. So there's a long history here, and it's time for people's bluffs to be called. And, uh, and not do this end run around Congress. Yeah, it's so interesting. I mean, you hear talk about, we're gonna go into like a get smart skiff where, you know, the cone of silence and nobody can hear it. But what you just said is that Nunez could just read it on the floor. You sure can. And the other thing is, look, this is the worst kept secret in the world. We've had months and months of this Russia, Russia hysteria. We know Strzok and Page, McCabe, even Lisa Monaco in the Obama White House they were all conspiring, all chatting about their efforts to go after the Trump campaign, the Trump transition, and now the Trump administration. Lisa Page gave it the nickname uh, Lateral, or excuse me, Latitude. She said that Latitude was the nickname she assigned it. And she even huh. tweeted, she, she text messaged to, to Strzok saying, POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. How clear can it be? Talk to me about the significance of this particular memo. I mean, you know, the it's, American public will say, well, we've already seen a couple memos. Yeah, well, this is the foundational memo from within the FBI that is like the predicate or the kickoff to this is why we're doing this investigation and the, um, these are the reasons why and this, this is the justification. So it's really, it's the foundation piece. In mm -hmm. theory, it should lay out the threat, the likely subjects or suspects, and the scope. 
And if you can't articulate that, if you can't explain that to the American public at this point, well, then when are you going to do it? Well, do we have any idea of what kinds of things would be in that memo? I mean, I, I said the words they want it unredacted. Well, we don't want them to reveal sources and methods, because I think we all understand that now, that we don't, you know, yeah, that doesn't that's protect a, us. That is a tired excuse. Look, no one can tell you what the criminal predicate is to the Mueller investigation. No one. I explain what crime was committed. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk about Hillary Clinton's email server, I can tell you. It's 18 U.S.C. Section 793F, which is mishandling national defense information. I can give you the crime. Tell me what crime was committed as the, as the predicate for the Mueller investigation. Because if you can say that, then it'll also be identified in this Strzok memo that, that Mr. Nunez wants to see. So let's put all the cards on the table. We're tired of all the double talk. There's no secrets here. This is history. This is not an ongoing thing. So let's see what's in the memo. Wow. No one has put it that way. No one can tell us what the criminal predicate was. We know it about so many other things, exactly. but not the investigation that was supposed to be looking at collusion. Wow, we don't even mention what it was about anymore. We're yeah, so collusion, far afield, of, we, we're not even talking of what? about it. Collusion yeah. of what? Wow. All right. Do you think we'll see the memo? Yes. All right. I think it's going to come out the hard way, but it'll come out. Okay. Well, the floor read by Nunez, that would be interesting. At least that would, we'd get to see it on TV. Yeah. Uh, Chris Farrell, Judicial Watch, thank you very much. Thank you.